as you know, book mail is the best mail, scientific fact. And it's been a little while, it's been a minute, since we have done a little book mail video together. So I thought I would just pull the books that I really like that have come in in the last month and a half, books that I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and dive in. First up is Bleak Harbor by Brian Gruley. This is released by Thomas and Mercer. And I'm so excited about it because the description just sounds really fun and mysterious and cool. And the reviews look great so far. It's set in this richer area in Bleak Harbor where every year there is a dragonfly festival. And the night before the dragonfly festival, the son of one of the older families in the community who uh, founded the town five generations ago, their son goes missing and they think that the secrets they've been keeping might be to blame. So it just sounded really fun and cool and like, I also love that founding family idea. I think that's really fun to play with a little bit, like old town, old secrets, you know? I don't know, sounds like a good time. But I am a little bit cranky, not at this book, but I'm cranky at a reviewer. When I got the ARC for this months ago, it was the unfinished version. This is the finished version, it comes out December 1st. But I got the ARC months ago, and I decided to look up reviews on Goodreads to see how I wanted to prioritize it and what it was about, and you know, all that jazz. And the first review there, and at the time it was the only review, had a spoiler in like the first paragraph. <laughs> So cranky and it's kind of like one of those moments where you see it and you can't unsee it and it's because your brain knows that you're not supposed to know it that you can't unknow it you know what I'm saying so I still kind of know the spoiler even though I spent the month since I got the arc trying to forget so I'm cranky at you Goodreads reviewer that's rude Turn your spoiler notice on. <laughs> so anyway, I'm still really excited about it and I would have read the arc earlier but I just was trying to erase that thing that I should not have seen on the internet from my mind. The next one is The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Ah, freaking out because I am so, so excited. I read the Lux series like two years ago, I think a year or two, I don't know. Mm, good question. But I would never ever in a million years pick up the Lux series because truly they have the most hideous covers in the history of the world. They have some of the cheesiest descriptions. And I know that sounds really mean, but it's just, I'm just speaking my truth. If I saw those books in a bookstore, there's no way in heck I would walk over and pick one of those up. I just wouldn't. But I have this really wonderful, sweet friend on Instagram, the best friend of book, and she convinced me to read it. She said, you must read it, you absolutely must read it. And I was like, okay, Sophia. But, and I didn't really think that I would love it as much as I did, but I got the first book all those years ago and I read the entire series, which is like five or six books, I can't truly remember, in about a week. I was so addicted, it was constant and I just could not get enough. So sometimes you really can't judge a book by its cover. I'm so glad that I read them. If you haven't read the Lux series, girl, you gotta try it. It's so good. So this is a spinoff from that series and I'm just excited to be back in that world. I hope it's good. I've heard good things. Of course, it's always a little weird going back into a series that the spinoff isn't it, but I'll take what I can get. And I think this author, I wanna read more of her work because she just has a talent for making you like characters. You really feel connected to them in one way or another, which I love. Uh, you know by now that I'm kind of a nerd and uh, one of the shows that I love so, so much that does not get enough attention is Merlin. And for a long time, it was really hard to get the episodes, but now it's on like Hulu or Netflix, one of them, I don't remember. So if you like things like Buffy and stuff like that that are a little cheesier, but have been those magical supernatural elements definitely watch it you have to forgive the effects but the character development is so good and it's such a fun show and you get so emotionally involved by the last season I can't get into it that was like my first exposure into the whole uh, Arthur legend so I really like it now and I love how many different paths people take and this one from touchstone just came out a few months ago and first off gorgeous look at look at that thing but also, uh, it's about Merlin's long lost sister, like the lost queen. And I just thought, wow, what a cool concept to be the sister of Merlin, who we all know so well. So I'm really excited. I'm trying to read this in um, November. Cross your fingers for me. It's a little long and I'm already reading a Steinbeck, which is really long, but I'm still hopeful that I can do this because I'm just excited about it. Really beautiful map in it that I love. And I don't know, I'm just excited. Oh, you know what I you know what I forgot to show you earlier is this Bleak Harbor. This is just a quick thing. 
but I love book design and when they pay attention and Thomas and Mercer Amazon publishing does this so well where they do something interesting underneath and I know that is obsessive and nerdy of me but I just like it so deal with it this one is a beautiful little book made by Riverhead books and it's got these cool illustrations I'll show you a few in just a second but essentially this is the story of an ambitious orphan it's during the French Revolution and she befriends royalty she befriends rebels and she eventually becomes the character of Madame Tussaud which I'm fairly certain I'm saying horribly incorrectly but it's about the wax figures and it's just like supposed to be whimsical and weird and wonderful so I'm kind of hoping it lives up to all of that it kind of sounds right up my alley a little bit dark but whimsy at the same time so let me show you some of these illustrations I'm just gonna flip through for you because otherwise it's really hard to do but I mean little doodles and silliness throughout the whole thing so I'm quite excited seems like a fun little discovery so that is Little by Edward Carey. I'm really excited about it. I do have one friend who's reading it and says they're loving it and they're kind of like me and like that strange, dark, whimsy type style. So I hope it's good as they like it and I like it as much as they do. I got another great one with illustrations and frankly the website for this book is insane so I'll leave a link to it but that's what completely sold me. This is a children's book like it's supposed to be magic done in a new way. It's about a boy who's cursed with knowing everything and he knows everything except why he's cursed to know everything. So again it's full of like a darker sort of whimsy, it's supposed to be a hidden world, fantasy, and just really really cool fun good times. I'm very excited about it. I think the cover is excellent, very cool. And again there are these incredible illustrations throughout. This is called Archibald and the Lost Witches and this is the uh, first like section header and just absolutely insane so of course I care about the written part too but you know I'm five years old and I never stopped being addicted to illustration so I'm really really excited seems like a beautiful book and I'm hoping that this will be the next young adult like young young adult children's book that I really enjoy since Harry Potter I'm hoping I don't want to put that high of hopes on it but I do have expectations that are already in place here be dragons and I read like the first two pages of course before I accepted it from the author um, but it it just sounds fun and I hope to read it maybe around Christmas but I don't know because my December stacks already pretty tall the next book that I got is from Random House. Thanks you guys for being an epic partner. I love working with you guys. And everyone can stop being mad at me for not having read something by this author before. Now, don't ruin this for me, okay? Because I'm kind of doing this weird experiment where, truthfully, I know nothing about this author. I know nothing about the book. I don't want to know the description. And the reason for that is because this is just such a highly acclaimed and highly recommended author that I kind of want to go in with no expectations if that makes any sense I think it'll be more fun that way so I'm not going to tell you what this is about if you're curious just look it up really quickly and um, everyone can finally stop peer pressuring me because I'm finally going to read one of these now the last really cool one I want to share with you is not fiction but it contains multitudes of other fiction and it is very heavy and it is a thousand books to read before you die now this came with a very cool poster list that like folds out, you could put it on your wall, and it lists every single book that's inside, and I think it's going to be oddly satisfying to go through and just check which ones I've read, so I'm kind of excited for that. It'll be weirdly satisfying. It, this is just one of those cool books to have forever. It's a cool book to have on your shelf, cool book to have on the coffee table and flip through, really cool concept, and I just think this is a fun book to have and to share. I think this would make a cool gift for book nerds. And I will definitely be putting it on my gift list for book nerds this year. So keep an eye out for that on the blog, but I'm very excited to have it. I think it's just a cool book. It's well made. It's sturdy. It's a book that just looks friggin' cool on your shelf. Shows off your nerdiness a little bit. That's it for recent book mail. I hope that you are excited about these reads as I am. Let me know which one of them you would read. I'd love to know. Other than that, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want more bookish videos, whether it's reviews, hauls, TBRs, wrap ups, all that stuff, I'm your girl. So go ahead and press that subscribe button. Can't wait to get to know you. Let me know if you're new. 
say hello. I'd love to talk to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.